<laughs> Come back. Hey dolls. So as you can see, I'm obviously doing something different with today's video. These are my two girls. If you are not familiar with my channel, I do have rats. Uh, these are my two girls that I currently have. These are my little babies. This right here is Trixie and you might hear her making kind of a snorting sound. She's got a little flare up with her little respiratory system right now. So she's kind of struggling a little, but we're trying to get that cleared up. And then this white one right here is Hope, and she is adorable as well. So these are my little girls. I do have a couple cage tour videos on my channel. I will go ahead and link them in the description box below. But today I am going to show you guys everything that I got from Dollar Tree today to kind of use in their cage and for them. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and put them back in their cage and then we'll get into the haul video. Okay, so before I get into this video, I have a couple disclaimers. Number one, I am not condoning you guys to go out and get rats as pets without doing proper, thorough research. Rats are not like hamsters. They are not like gerbils. They're not like guinea pigs. They need completely different care than other small animals. And a lot of people fail to research a lot and gain a knowledge when it comes to not just getting rats but any animal and oftentimes they get taken care of incorrectly and they are not given the best life possible so please 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 if you are looking into getting a pet not just a rat any pet at all do thorough thorough research and I don't mean just watch one YouTube video I mean watch tons of videos, scour the internet, go to your library, rent some books, and gain some thorough, thick knowledge of the animal before you adopt them into your life. For those of you who have been around my channel for a while, you guys had requested that I do a rat cage accessory haul from Dollar Tree because just like with hamsters and gerbils, they can be very expensive to take care of. So I like to give them the best diet possible. So that can be a little bit more expensive. So whereas I would spend more money on food, I kind of sacrifice budget a little bit when it comes to toys and accessories for their cage which is completely fine. A lot of these things you can even find at thrift stores and just wash them up, clean them up thoroughly and give them to your babies. Uh, some of these things will even work for ferrets or guinea pigs as well. So definitely keep that in mind that you don't have to pay $20 for a pet toy at a pet store, that you can actually just make your own, like do little DIYs, which if you guys wanna see a DIY rat toy or small animal toy uh, video where I just make the toys, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. But with that, I did go to Dollar Tree and I picked up some more goodies for my girls. And right now we're just gonna go ahead and go through them. The number one staple at Dollar Tree, if you guys saw my last Dollar Tree haul, the one where I just went on a crazy shopping spree, uh, then that's probably why a lot of you subscribe to my channel. Welcome new subscribers, by the way. And I know that you guys love Dollar Tree hauls, so I figured I would just do another one anyway. They have these little super soft microfiber cloths in the kind of auto section of the store, if that's what you want to call it, the auto aisle. And they are made just for like clean cleaning your cars and stuff, but my girls love these to use them as blankets. I line their cage with these. They're super cheap. They're actually very big and they just love them so much. So I did pick up two more of these because I can never get enough of these things and they are fairly cheap. As mentioned in my last Dollar Tree haul, I'm gonna mention again regardless because this is mainly a rat video. If you are washing blankets or fleece or anything like that, please, please, please use detergent and fabric softeners that are not scented. You guys saw with Trixie, she is struggling a little bit. She has a little bit of a flare up with her respiratory system and oftentimes fabric softeners and scented soaps will do that. If you hear squeaking, that is my dog. I got him a new toy when I went to Dollar Tree. So he's going to be playing with that throughout the video. So just ignore the squeaking, but please, please, please thoroughly wash any blankets or fabric items that you get for your rats in non-scented 
detergents and fabric softeners and things like that because you don't want their little you don't want to cause little flare-ups and stuff and then I saw these I hadn't come across these before these were in the baby section and they had some pink ones and they had some blue ones and these are little fleece baby blankets and I wanted to rip this open and see actually how big these are because they might actually be bigger than the microfiber cloths and if that's the case I need to go back and get even more of these oh yeah these are like triple the size these are big oh but they're not that thick but these are great because they are fleece. As you can see, it is just hearts. It has pink and gray hearts on a white background. And it's just fuzzy and fleecy and soft. So I did get two of those as well. But I think I'm going to start going mainly for these from now on. Because even when I'm lighting the bottom of the cage and things like that, I can double them up. And then I can also cut these down and make hammocks out of them and things. So definitely, definitely a good little investment there because fleece can get expensive, especially if you just go to like fabric stores or even places like Walmart, you're paying like three, four dollars a yard for it. And this is 30 inches by 30 inches. It's like two and a half feet. That's almost a yard. That's really good in my book for only a dollar. I should have got like seven more of these because my girls love to rip their fleece up and stain it and they just go through fleece like crazy. So I do rewash it when I can, but sometimes it's just shredded and unsalvageable. So it's awesome to have tons of these things as backup. <laughs> Another thing I love to get at Dollar Tree for my girls are little baskets. Now I got this one, but I've also gotten quite a few other ones and they just love these. What I do is I make little dig boxes for them and I'll put like fleece scraps in here, like pieces that maybe just aren't big enough to use as blankets or stuff that I can't can't really line the cage with, with and I'll just cut little strips and it's just little fleece scraps and I'll put them in here and then I'll also get like toilet paper rolls and other things like that and put them in here and I'll hide treats like at the bottom of the basket so they kind of have to burrow down and find them. These little baskets are great. And you're probably asking, okay, well, how do you put that in the cage? You can either set it on a level in the cage itself and then just kind of use like a nut and bolt and like screw it to the side of the cage so they can't like fumble it around everywhere. Or you can actually get shower curtain hooks and string them through the little holes and hang them on the sides of the cages. And that's what I do. My girls love the little baskets as hangout spots. And sometimes they sleep in them. Sometimes they just play in them. You can actually use these as like levels for the rat to jump up onto in order to get to another spot in the cage. And they are just so, so, so great. So any little baskets like this, or even if you have a critter nation, cage where the whole front just opens up and you're not really limited to size of baskets feel free to grab huge ones little ones big ones whatever you think is best just make sure that the little holes are either small enough or big enough to where your li rat's little claws or teeth or noses won't get stuck in the holes when they are playing in the baskets and also if it does come with handles depending on how they are attached or how they're set up make sure and detach those before putting them in the cage so that that doesn't cause any injuries either some of them are just have like one big one in the middle that's usually fine you can hang the basket from that um, it just varies it really all depends but if it does have handles where maybe the rat could go through and get stuck definitely cut those off and get rid of any sharp pointy edges before you put it in the cage okay now along with the basket I actually got some of these little plastic baseballs and I wanted to get have you guys seen they're like these little mesh ball pits and they're tiny and they come with all of the plastic balls that are usually in ball pits and you can just put your ferret in there and your ferret can like dig around in the balls and everything those things are expensive they're like 20 30 dollars and it's ridiculous so I'm kind of like making my own here I've also got some ping pong balls that I'm going to put in here as well there are some little soft balls they're just like the little plastic wiffle ball style without the whole 
holes in them. And I also have little pink ping pong balls that I ordered off of eBay, but a lot of the times you can find those at Dollar Tree as well. These were each a dollar for three pack, and I do have a bigger basket that I have in their cage where I intend to put these. These act as a good component to a dig box because they kind of just throw them out and play with them and knock them around everywhere. And it's really, really cute. So these kinds of balls and the ping pong balls that are just lightweight and easy for them to throw around and rummage through are a great option as well. So I did get two of those. They are investigating their new little plastic baseballs. <laughs> what do you think, girls? Huh? What do you think of that? What is that, huh? <laughs> and then this I didn't actually get on this trip, but I did want to mention this in this video because I did get them at Dollar Tree previously. These are just little Dixie cups. These are the Minnie Mouse ones. I like to get cute colored ones to use in the rat cage, but you can just use the plain old ones. Just as long as they aren't the plastic ones, that they are in fact like the standard cardboard style Dixie cups. They are the safest to use 100%, but I I kind of use fleece and tie these together and hide treats in them and just create little toys. If you guys want to see a DIY video on how I make some of them, uh, definitely let me know down in the comments. But these are amazing. They're just the paper cups. Don't use the plastic ones because they could choke on them or, you know, it could get stuck in their mouth or things like that. But the paper ones are okay for them to use. Especially my girls, they like to chew stuff, but they don't actually, like, eat what they chew other than, like, their food. So they'll shred, they'll shred paper, they'll rip up boxes and cardboard and things, but they don't actually eat it. It doesn't go into their system. So I am definitely safe to put things like this in their cage. Okay, now the last thing I got were these Huggies Baby Wipes. Now, a lot of you guys may have questions when it comes to cleaning the cage. Like, how do you clean the cage? How do you clean the toys? If you guys know rats, yes, my rats are potty trained. They poop in their little litter pan on the bottom and middle of the cage, but however, they do pee everywhere. Like, you cannot control their pee. If you have boys, girls, they're gonna pee all over the place. That's why you get the fleece because it kind of just wicks away the urine and it is just so much easier to just throw it in the wash, clean it up, and then reuse it again later. And with rats, again, they have horrible respiratory systems, so you don't want to be giving them thick pine bedding or anything along those lines. So definitely just line the cage with fleece. And so when I wipe down their toys, when I wipe things down, you don't want to use alcohol wipes. You can use a vinegar and water mixture, but I've just been loving using baby wipes lately and these are specifically the fragrance free ones they have these ones at Dollar Tree these are the cute little Mickey Mouse and friends ones uh, huggy simply clean fragrance free wipes and when I'm cleaning their cage I'll just grab one of these bad boys take it out wipe down their toy let it completely dry and then put it back in the cage and then they can play with it later on usually the rule of thumb is if it's safe for babies it's safe for rats but sometimes you know rats can chew through things more than than babies can because babies don't really have teeth at certain stages so generally the rule of thumb is if it's safe for a baby then it's safe for rats but not always so do not quote me on that 100% but yes definitely get the fragrance free ones and with that being said I think that is everything in this rat's accessory haul from Dollar Tree. I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope it was informative. If you guys use any of these items in your critter cages, please let me know. And also, if you have little critters, let me know what they are and what their names are in the comments section down below. And just a little last reminder, please do your thorough research before adopting any kind of pet or before getting any kind of pet whatsoever. If it is a living, breathing creature, you want to give it the best, most glamorous life possible and you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars to achieve that so with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go and I will talk to you all in my next video so until then so long stay strong stay true and be you all right bye